Ladies and gentlemen, live via recording from the halls of Stephen Decatur High School, it's the 2020 Senior Awards. With your hosts, Mr. Seitz, Dr. Bunting, Mr. Hill, Mr. Green, Mrs. Cater, featuring the rest of the faculty, musical guest, Mr. Hill, with special guests, the 2020 Stephen Decatur High School Senior Class. And now, here to get this party started, Mr. Sykes! Welcome, Stephen Decatur High School families, to the annual Graduate Awards Celebration. Today, we honor the many outstanding graduates in the class of 2020. Although this celebration is taking place on social media and the radio, it doesn't take away from the wonderful achievements of our honorees. Parents, friends, and staff, welcome and thank you for joining us this afternoon. Today, our graduates will be presented with the Principal's Awards, Academic Subject Awards, and Club and Organizational Awards. We are honored to present these awards to our outstanding graduates of the class of 2020. Administrative Awards. Within the school community, there are students who distinguish themselves without direction or the expectation of reward in a manner that is equal to the high standard set by the Decatur Way. They have, by their own actions, shown pride in themselves and their school. They have achieved great things that may or may not be recognized. Not because of the possibility of honors, but because these actions were honorable. They have earned the greatest admiration of their peers and staff alike. On a daily basis, they are respectful of others' feelings and needs. And by the way they have chosen to conduct themselves in all situations, they have exhibited respect for themselves. Always willing to go above and beyond, they have accepted the responsibility of being good citizens of our school. Today, honor these young men and women who truly exemplify the Decatur Way. Echo Anime, Julissa Astudio Cuevas, Shamar Baines, Robert Baker, Dana Beard, Elizabeth Berkey, Kayla Berry, Madison Burkett, Sydney Boger, Jenna Bradford, Matthew Brown, Haley Brow, Ava Bullock, Trey Bunting, Hannah Burke, Litzy Cervantes Rodriguez, Matthew Coleman, Nicholas Coleman, Ontario Collins, Antonio Collins, Michaela Denault, Macy Dietrich, Victoria Dixon, Elizabeth Dutton, Sierra Eisman, Sarah Engel, Maxwell Iwancio, Jacob Buchsluger, Caroline Gardner, Eric Gwynn, Jackson Halverson, Kylie Hamby, Drew Housen, Brianna Henry, Theo Hobbs, Zachary Hickman, Gabrielle Izet, Ulyssa Jacobs, Devin Kramer, Michael Kearns, William King, Isabel Christick, Macy Layton, Brandon Manuel, Blake Marshall, DeCameron McAfee, Mandy McCready, Austin Miller, Matthew Miller, Katie Mitchell, Amelia McCann, Sarah Mirza, Madison Munn, Avante Ruby, Elena Parsons, Ella Peters, Richard Hoist, May Purnell, Riley Rogers, Alyssa Romano, Miles Thompson, Alexis Upperman, Summer Worstead, Amber Whitaker, Grayson Wolf, Matthew Wrench, and Abigail Yesko. 
Congratulations to all Decatur Way Award winners. The Best All Around is one of our most special awards because the recipient captures the true spirit of so much that Stephen Decatur High School has to offer. This year's honoree is no exception. In the community, this young man serves on the Worcester County Youth Council where he works on various initiatives to promote good citizenship and healthy decision making. Obviously no stranger to volunteerism, he is a Presidential Serve Award recipient and an active member of the Key Club. He is a four-year member of the swim team, a member of Rho Kappa Social Studies Honor Society, and Mu Alpha Theta Math Honor Society, and is the president of the National Honor Society. Finally, despite having an extremely rigorous academic schedule that has included eight advanced placement and dual enrollment courses, this young man has earned straight A's throughout high school. A renaissance man and one of the most affable students in the graduating class, he truly leaves us asking, how does he do it all? We know that he will accomplish great things at the United States Naval Academy and beyond. But for now, we are extremely pleased to recognize this year's best all-around student, Richard Poist. Our male athlete this year has been a three-sport standout athlete. He has participated in soccer, basketball, and tennis. He was first-team all-conference selection during his junior and senior year in soccer. During basketball season, he averaged 24 points and 15 rebounds per game and was a 1,000 point scorer. He was co-captain and was the team's MVP this year. He was Bayside South Player of the Year, selected to Bayside South All-Star Team, selected 13 WMV Elite and 3A, 4A All-State Honorable Mention. He will continue his education next year and play basketball at Dickinson College located in Carlisle, Pennsylvania. The class of 2020 outstanding male athlete is Drew Housen. Our female athlete this year is a three sport standout. She has played soccer, indoor track, and lacrosse. She was a four year varsity player and was co-captain and the team MVP this year. During indoor track, she has won 7th place 500 meter run, 6th place 4x400 relay, and 3rd place 4x800 relay during the Bayside Championships. As a lacrosse player, she is a tenacious midfielder that has been exciting to watch evolve over the years. She is a relentless athlete. She is strong-willed and never settles for anything less than her absolute best. Her sophomore year, she received second team all Bayside recognition. Last year as a junior, she received most improved player and was recognized as a first team all Bayside player. Next year, she will take her talents to play division two lacrosse at Tampa University. The class of 2020 outstanding female athlete is Alyssa Romano. The Worcester County Public Schools have adopted a three-tiered academic recognition program. The tiers are based on the cumulative weighted grade point average in English, Mathematics, Social Studies, Science, and World Language, as well as advanced placement and college level courses. The tier for which a senior may qualify is de determined during the senior year at the end of the third marking period. Today, this group of high achieving students will receive a certificate of academic excellence and an honor cord, which they will proudly wear at graduation. In addition, the honor tier designation will be noted on the student's permanent transcript. The first tier of academic recognition is cum laude. These students have maintained a cumulative weighted grade point average that falls within the range of 4.80 to 4.89. They will receive a blue and white honor cord. Jacqueline Gallagher, Samuel Lakites, Mandy McCready, Austin Miller, Aldoberto Navarat Garzon, Aiden O'Connor, Matthew Wrench. The second tier of academic recognition is magna cum laude. These students have maintained a cumulative weighted grade point average 
that falls within the range of 4.90 to 5.04. They will receive a blue and, and silver honor cord. Hannah Beck, Grace Broch, Casey Dent, Elizabeth Dutton, Sarah Engel, Kylie Hamby, Allison Johnston, Ethan Kolchthaler, Jack Carley, Macy Layton, Brandon Manuel, Amelia McCann, Laura Meadows, Elena Parsons, Ella Peters, Sarah Rodler, Alexandra Schachter, Rachel Travers, Gavin Wilkins, and Hunter Wolf. The third and highest tier of academic recognition is summa cum laude. The students receiving this designation have maintained a weighted cumulative grade point average that falls within the range of 5.05 and above. They will receive a blue and gold honor cord. Kayla Berry, Madison Burkett, Sydney Boger, Matthew Brown, Ava Bullock, Hannah Burke, Michaela Canty, Noah Carpenter, Kendra Carrier, Michaela Denault, Macy Dietrich, Sierra Eisman, Ryan Etheridge, Maxwell Iwancio, Caroline Gardner, Eric Gwynn, Sarah Haskell, Drew Halson, Zachary Hickman, Aaron Hurley, Gabrielle Izzet, Kayla Janney, Michael Kearns, Devin Kramer, Isabel Christie, Alora Lockhart, Zara Merzer, Katherine Mitchell, Madison Munn, Alexandra Hort, Brutha Patel, Connor Perry, Connor Plumley, Richard Horst, Alyssa Romano, Karsten St. Amant, Miles Thompson, Aaron Trask, Summer Vorstead, Amber Whitaker, Grayson Wolf, Abigail Yesko. Each year, the state of Maryland recognizes the highest achieving students in the graduating class. Students who have placed in the top 5% of the class receive the Governor's Academic Achievement Award. The honorees are Madison Burkett, Ava Bullock, Michaela Canteen, Kendra Carrier, Maxwell Iwancio, Eric Gwynn, Drew Housen, Aaron Hurley, Gabrielle Izet, Michael Kearns, Isabel Christick, Zara Mirza, Richard Poist, Amber Whitaker, and Grayson Wolf. Each year, the Stephen Decatur High School Administration selects a student or students who have shown the most personal and academic growth over the four years. Our first recipient is a young lady who exemplifies what a student can do when she puts her mind to it. She has progressed from a ninth grader who was in need of frequent counseling regarding attendance and decision making to a more mature woman who finished strong. After high school, she will be going directly into the workforce while taking classes at Warwick. Most improved female student, Abigail Blankenship. Our next honoree is a young man who we have watched over his four years at Stephen Decatur. He did not begin his high school career with a serious approach to academics, but by his senior year he's become a conscientious, hardworking, and leader in our school. Life has not always followed a neatly laid out plan for him. He has taken what has been thrown his way and worked through it all. After high school, he will be attending either University of Maryland Eastern Shore or Lincoln University. Most improved male student, Andre Andrews. In the fall of 2018, over 1.6 million high school juniors took the PSAT National Merit Qualifying Test a nationwide competition for scholastic recognition and awards. Students whose scores place them in the top 5% in the nation have been recognized as National Merit Scholar Commended Students. These young women and men have demonstrated outstanding potential for future academic success. 
This year, two of Stephen Decatur graduating students, seniors, have received such designation. Madison Burkett and Maxwell Iwancio. Congratulations. Hi, I'm Mary Burquist. On behalf of United States Senator Chris Van Hollen, it is my honor and privilege to present the Public Service Leadership Award to Richard Poist. Thank you, Richard, for representing Stephen Decatur High School in such an exceptional way. And congratulations on your appointment to the United States Naval Academy. Hi, I'm Lori Chetley from Stephen Decatur High School, and I have the distinct honor to announce the recipients of the Presidential Service Award for the class of 2020. For the bronze level, receiving and completing over 100 hours of service in one year are Ben Wilkins, Matthew Miller, Prutha Patel, Michaela Denault, Ava Bullock, Ali Dutton, Zara Mirza, Haley Triplett, and Izzy Christick. The silver level for over 175 hours this past year goes to Sydney Bober. And finally, our gold level for over 250 hours of service in one year goes to Jagger Clapsaddle, Madison Burkett, and Casey Dent. Thank you students for giving back to the community this past year and good best wishes in the coming years ahead. And now, academic awards. The Maryland Seal of Biliteracy is an award given to recognize a student's high level proficiency in listening, speaking, reading, and writing in one or more languages in addition to English. Stephen Decatur is proud to present the 2020 Seal of Biliteracy to seven students. Congratulations to Hannah Beck, Gabrielle Izzet, Devin Kramer, Zara Mirza, Katie Mitchell, Jesus Navarrete, and Aaron Trask. Congratulations to the outstanding seniors in the business department, Sydney Boger and Connor Perry. You've led us to outstanding finishes in the Econ Challenge and the Stock Market Game. Good luck in all of your future endeavors. Greetings. Today, the English department honors the Stephen Decatur High School student who is an example of relentless learning and creative, reliable contribution to organizations. Her teachers describe her as passionate, ethical, reliable, and above all, committed. She demonstrates well-rounded interests and is a published author. The English department celebrates the accomplishments of the 2020 graduate, Michaela Denault. Congratulations, Michaela. This year's French award goes to Gaston, or as many of you know him, Bradley Moore. I've had the privilege to witness this young man over the course of his high school career. Gaston completed all levels of French, including the advanced placement course and the world languages and cultures course by his junior year. When he was a sophomore in 2018, he traveled to France and Spain as part of our Decatur group. Gaston, I am deeply honored to know you and I am so very proud of the young man you have become. I know that you're going to do amazing things in the future. And my wish for you is joy and laughter always. On behalf of the mathematics department, it gives me great pleasure to announce this year's award recipient. This group of students holds a very special place in my heart. There are many talented math students in the class of 2020, and one in particular stands out in the crowd. This person has excelled in every math and computer course our county has to offer and took first place in Salisbury University's mathematics competition. It has been a pleasure to teach someone who has a true love for the beauty of mathematics. For those of you that know him, you understand why I wore this t-shirt in celebration of his passion for mathematics. We all know that Grayson Wolf is no spectator. I can't wait to hear all that you will accomplish, Grayson. Congratulations. Hi seniors and congratulations to all of you, the class of 2020. It's my pleasure to present this year's outstanding senior from the physical education department. This young man has earned an impressive six and a half credits of physical education throughout his high school career. He has been an exemplary student serving as a role model for all of his peers. And to top it off, he's a genuinely nice, very respectful young man. Always went out of his way to help set up equipment, put away equipment and anything else he could do. We really appreciate him. We know he's gonna find great success in the future, and we congratulate you, Hawk Almany. Congratulations, Hawk. Congratulations to all of you, class of 2020. I'm honored 
to present the 2020 Stephen Decatur High School Science Award to Miles Thompson, a young man who has won the hearts of every teacher who has taught him in our department. Mr. Carl said that he feels truly blessed to have taught such an outstanding person, an aspiring marine biologist. I cannot wait to see where life takes you, Miles. I'm so proud of you. Congratulations. It is very rare in the high school world to find a student that loves history as much as this year's recipient of the Social Studies Department Award. This young lady has not only challenged herself by taking every advanced placement course that we offer in the Social Studies Department, but she's also taken great pride in helping others around her learn to love history as much as she does. In fact, she even helped teach my AP course when I was on maternity leave, something I will forever be grateful to her for. Congratulations, Erin Trask, the 2020 recipient of the Social Studies Department Award. I cannot wait to see the history that she will make. Congratulations. This year, the World Language Department is pleased to be honoring a student that took five levels of Spanish, receiving A's in each class, and who also received a perfect score on the AP Spanish language exam as a junior. Due to her natural aptitude with languages, she enrolled in two French classes this year and is well on her way to becoming trilingual. This was such a difficult year to pick just one outstanding student as we've never had this many students get a perfect score on the AP Spanish language exam. But the department is very proud to present the award for outstanding Spanish student to Erin Trask, also known as Elena. Felicitaciones, Elena. Te vamos a extrañar muchísimo. The World Languages Award is not something that we give every year. This award is chosen only for the rare student who genuinely loves languages and who goes above and beyond to learn both Spanish and French during his or her high school career. This year's recipient is Erin Trask, who I most affectionately call Le Fon. This remarkable young woman completed all levels of Spanish, two levels of French, and our World Languages and Cultures course during her four years at Decatur. Her talent, passion and curiosity inspire me daily. Le Fon, you are spectacular. And my wish for you is happiness and peace always. Arts Awards. The Visual Art Award students truly embody the qualities of commitment and dedication to the arts. The first recipient is Dana Beard. Dana is a student who is very percep perceptive and creative and skilled. The next recipient is Ariel Alvarado. Ariel has truly grown as an artist, developing her skill all through the year. And our final student is Jack Carley. Jack has been committed to the arts his entire high school career. He is a planner, he problem solves, and his work is very, very skilled. All students deserve great congratulations. Hello, seniors. The Instrumental Music Award is given to those seniors that have made band and orchestra a priority in their high school schedules. These students are driven by the art of music and their dedication and leadership to the ensemble are noted by their peers and their instructor alike. It gives me great pleasure to announce that there are four seniors that will be receiving this award from the class of 2020. In band, those seniors are Justin Baker and Alexander Sakura, and in orchestra, those seniors are Riley Rogers and Michaela Wilhelm. Congratulations to all. For the class of 2020, there have been two students that have shown incredible growth in their learning and deep dedication to the Decatur News Network. The first student may have struggled to read from the teleprompter in the beginning, but quickly became a charismatic anchor and field reporter. The second student has shown deep respect for the program, even when his heart wasn't always in school mode. It is my honor to award the Communication Arts Award to Anthony Scaffone and Noah Egger. Hello, my name is Christine Bradford. I'm the choir director here at Stephen Decatur High School. Students enrolled in our choir programs not only get the chance to refine their music knowledge through performance, they learn lifelong skills while working as a team towards one goal. The following students have shown to be role models to other students enrolled in the program, shown dedication throughout the years through continued enrollment and musical excellence. This year, I would like to award Zoe Gillis, Laura Meadows, and Oksana Worthington. Thank you. The recipients of this year's Decatur Theater Award have proven to be some of the most reliable young artists I have had the good fortune of working with. 
For the last four years, they have donated their free time willingly after school for rehearsals, on the weekend for set construction, and even during the summer for our summer theater program, encouraging the next eager young generation of artists. Their creations and contributions to the program have been truly invaluable, and they have definitely left their mark on Decatur Theater. They know how to suit up, show up, throw down, and go home. They are Madison Munn, Devin Ross, Samantha Seidenspinner, and Eliza Siegel. Congratulations, guys. For the graduating class, there have been two students that have shown drive and dedication to the yearbook program. The first student showcased an unexpected dedication and work ethic to ensure the 2019 yearbook was the best it could be. The second student has spent countless hours to ensure the 2020 yearbook would be ready for print, even through distance learning. It is my honor to award the yearbook award to my 2019 Editor-in-Chief, Benjamin Wilkins, and my 2020 Editor-in-Chief, Elizabeth Dutton. Technical High School Awards. Hey guys, this is Chef Cropper, and uh, it's that time of year for senior awards. So I just wanna let you guys know that Alexis Molner is our Student Chef of the Year this year. She is a dual program completer. Uh, she completed both culinary arts and baking and pastry arts and she is certified through the American Culinary Federation as a CFC and CFPC. So I'm very proud of her. Congratulations to Lexus and uh, keep it cooking. Hi guys, this is Chef Cropper. I just wanna say that I'm really proud this year of my seniors and that uh, Avante Newby is our Student Chef of the Year. Uh, Avante's overcome a lot of obstacles in culinary arts and he is a phenomenal young man and he deserves and has earned this award. So congratulations Avante, we're so proud of you. Hello Hannah, it's Miss Hands. I have the pleasure to announce Miss Watson and I nominate you for the Outstanding Cosmetology Senior Award. This award recognizes your dedication, hard work, outstanding leadership, which has led you to achieve your Maryland Cosmetology License. We are proud. Jaden Johnstone is the outstanding senior of 2020 for GIS program. He is an outstanding student, an outstanding adult, who is able to learn a new program and apply it to solve a community problem. Best of luck in your future, Jaden. Hey, I want to give a shout out to Nicole. She was our 2019-2020 SkillsUSA Maryland State Parliamentarian. Great job, Nicole. Thank you. On behalf of Dr. Penny McCoochell, this year's outstanding senior in the nursing program at Worcester Technical High School is an exceptional young lady who for the past two years has gone above and beyond daily in her academic studies, her clinical skills, and her demonstration of what being a nurse truly means. Anyone who is fortunate enough to have this young lady assigned as their nurse would be in compassionate and competent hands. She's going to be an amazing healthcare hero. Dr. Makucho is extremely proud of all her accomplishments and she is most deserving of this year's Outstanding Senior in Nursing Award. This year's recipient is Ashley Hoffman. Worcester Technical High School would like to present an award for top engineering student. We usually select the students based not only on grades and achievement, but also on how good of an ambassador the student is for engineering in our community. So the student this year, I might not able to ask him to write an official message for me, or I might not recommend for the student to go visit my country, but I will definitely trust my future and the future of our country to the engineer he will become. So Max Ivancio, congratulations. You are our star student this year. I'm very proud to announce that the outstanding senior for 2020 for my welding program is DJ Taylor. Congratulations, DJ. I know you're gonna do great things. I'm very proud of you. I'm proud to announce that my 2020 Outstanding Senior for the Welding Program is Matthew Piles. Great job, Matt. Very proud of you. I know you're gonna do great things. Club and Organizational Awards. As the advisor of Stephen Decatur's academic team, I would like to recognize an individual who not only made an impact on our team's success this year, but also during the entire four years he's been a member. Stephen Decatur won first place at the Eastern Shore Academic Invitational in March, and this was due in large part to his outstanding knowledge, enthusiasm, and dedication. 
I'm pleased to recognize Grayson Wolf as our MVP for 2020. I am most appreciative of his efforts and he will definitely be missed next year. Hi, the senior award for the Key Club goes to Gabby Izet. Gabby, you have been such a valuable member of the Stephen Decatur High School Key Club and you have done a wonderful job as president this year. Please accept this gift as a token of our appreciation. Wear it in good health and think of the good times and the good you've accomplished for the organization. We will miss you. On behalf of Ms. Malone and myself, Ms. McIntosh, we say good luck. The Stephen Decatur chapter of Mu Alpha Theta had another great year. Members have volunteered numerous hours with the After School Academy tutoring students who are struggling in mathematics. Tonight, there are two individuals that deserve special recognition. They've been the backbone of our group this year. The success of all our events was a direct result of their leadership, hard work, dedication, and ability to delegate responsibilities. On behalf of Ms. Ebeline and myself, I would like to present this year's awards to Madison Burkett, our president, and Izzy Christick, our vice president. Congratulations, ladies. I'm really missing my morning welcoming committee. English teachers would like to honor the following National English Honor Society seniors who have exerted exemplary efforts to further the mission of literacy in our community. Michaela Denault, a published author before joining NEHS. Macy Dietrich, two-year member and public relations officer. Madison Munn, this year's president and two-year member. And Ulyssa Jacobs, historian and three-year member. Congratulations, Yolash Shell Medora. Good evening, I'm Mary Burquist. It's my honor and privilege to recognize five outstanding individuals for their service to the school and community as members of the National Honor Society. They are Michaela Denault, Ellie Dutton, Kylie Hamby, Ella Peters, and Richard Poist. Best of luck to each of you as you go on to do great things. The 2019-2020 school year marks the first year of the Rho Kappa History Honor Society at Stephen Decatur High School. This year, the organization has been very successful thanks in large part to our very first president. This young lady's hard work and dedication has made the organization something that will last long into the future. It's been my pleasure to be your teacher and your advisor. Congratulations, Prutha Patel, the first ever Rho Capri Kappa History Honor Society Award recipient. Congratulations. I would like to congratulate and honor the seniors who tutored this year at the Seahawk Writing Center. Madison Burkett, Victoria Dixon, Carolyn Gardner, Gabby Isaac, Zara Mirza, Madison Munn, and Abby Yesko. Thank you for all the hours you put in volunteering. Thank you for your dedication to the Seahawk Writing Center, and God bless you as you go on to college. Final words from Mr. Seitz. We want to congratulate all the school-based award winners this afternoon. You have worked hard to earn all the accolades you have received. I want to thank the teachers for sending us your heartfelt videos and kind words for our students. A special thanks goes out to Mr. Brandon Cater for his work in creating this video. I also want to thank our counselors and Mr. Keith Hall who spent long hours compiling awards and scholarships for our students. Finally, Mr. Bill Baker and Power 101.7 for serving as the official radio station for the class of 2020. Seniors, stay tuned in the coming weeks for the official announcement of our community-based awards and scholarships. Thank you and stay safe.